Hi guys, before I get into today's video, I just want to say um, there's a lot currently going on in my country. Um, it's literally devastating. Like, no, it's, it's just a lot. Children are dying. Women are being raped as like silencing mechanisms. It's just a whole lot. And um, if you can, please do help raise awareness for this because um, as people who actually stay in Zim, it is kind of scary um, to actually speak out against the government because they literally can do anything they don't care. Um, so if you can, please just help raise awareness. There's a lot going on on Twitter. There are hashtags that are being used and they are currently trending. As I'm filming this video, they're trending. So when I upload it, I hope like people are still, you know, with it and they're doing as much as they can i'm going to link petitions um down below and a, a letter that you can send to your to your pm um i'm sure yes to your pm of like your country so that they can put pressure on our government um so if you could just take a look at that that would be great thank you guys so much um and yeah let's get straight into the video welcome and thank you for you know thank you for clicking on this video um if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back today and today i have a video that i was meant to do a long time ago but like i wanted to do it with friends um but you know life happens so it's the asking for a friend video I said people could give me their dilemmas or like you know that type of stuff um but asking for a friend it could be for you or whatever or it's actually genuinely for a friend but that's what i'm calling this um depending on like whether you guys like this video then i'll decide if i want to make it a like a series on my channel you know like something that i do every two weeks type of thing anyway we'll see if you guys actually like this video but like i'm really sorry i'm only doing it now um yeah i know i should have done it a long time ago but i'm really sorry so um i'm gonna i'm gonna read like the first response um how do you know when you're doing too much to save a relationship or a friendship um i would say when your energy isn't being reciprocated uh and by this i mean you're doing a lot to kind of either save the relationship or friendship or revive it or whatever but you're not getting the same energy from the person so for me um once upon a time sorry guys i'm shivering because it's cold yo okay uh for me once upon a time i a friendship like was in the changes and i was trying to like you know revive the friendship to make it you to get the friendship back and i wasn't getting that same energy back like i i personally think the person didn't want the friendship back so i left it because i wasn't getting that energy back so that is what i would say you should do just if your energy is not being reciprocated you're wasting your time move on that's what i'm saying um how does one boy find time to play three girls <laughs> three girls at once guys oh I don't know these men that you guys are dealing with yeah hey i don't know um i'm obviously not a boy so i don't know i think if you're being played leave hello unless maybe you're benefiting from him in some way but like if you're actually being played leave get that break get that hair then leave peace out <laughs> um is it okay to get married to a very rich pilot at 18 years old knowing you guys are very in love how old is this pilot um i mean if okay personally i would get married at 18 
but then everyone is different um i think the main thing here is how old is this pilot how old is he do you know what i mean that's what you need to ask yourself if the age gap is too ridiculous ask yourself why he wants you genuinely because um what i've come to realize is like okay younger girls going for older guys they think oh my gosh i'm mature <laughs> he thinks i'm unsure oh my gosh and like genuinely he's just a predator you know think think carefully about that um yeah think carefully about that because men are strange is it wrong for dating yo we yo 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 okay oh okay is she wrong for dating two guys and flirting with the whole world? She's my friend, but she's a hoe. <laughs> okay, if you if you have this an opinion so strong on your friend, I feel like you should talk to your friend because guys, okay, what the hell is a hoe? Let's start there. I've always asked that question. What the hell is a hoe? Um, dating two guys at the same time. I mean, guys do it all the time, so you know she's playing the game. Don't be mad at the player, be mad at the game. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but like, I don't know, if you if you have that kind of opinion on your friend, then definitely talk to it. You know? Yeah, talk to your friend. <laughs> Yo, okay, I mean, how long have you been thinking this? Because, oh my days, okay. Uh, is it okay to have sex with two blood brothers at different times, but their brother? You know what? There's nothing wrong. Um, uh, it's okay for me. It's like guys can do certain things and it's okay, but when a girl does it, it's not okay. I'm pretty sure guys have gone for sisters. I know for a fact. Actually, yes, guys have gone for sisters before. So why can't you go for brothers? Hmm. The only problem would be now: Are you doing this with them both? Like different times but like at the same time like this one monday this one friday this one sunday this one wednesday do you know what i mean or is it like you've been with one brother and now another brother that's what it is for me but like honestly just because these brothers it's okay i don't i don't see a problem someone said i messed around with two cousins and now they're dizzy <laughs> guys um do you know what the thing is right um when girls do things, society sees it as like, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But, guys do it all the time. Gents do it all the time. So why are they shocked when a girl does it to them? Don't be mad at the player, be mad at the game. Get what I'm saying? Like, gents play the game, but when girls want to play the game as well, it's suddenly World War Three or whatever. Um, you guys should watch this video by Google it in your team, but I'll put it at at the end of the video, I'll put it as like one of the recommended videos. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You guys should watch that video. It's called City Girl Chronicles, and she's basically talking about like being a city girl and yeah, just watch the video. Watch the video. You know I'm saying watch the video. My mind, okay, sorry. Some of these things are like irrelevant to what this video is about. That's why I'm like, yeah. My mind thinks about me smashing when I'm with my mom driving sometimes. Then I have to call her in my head to see if she can hear me. <laughs> I feel like this is the same with when you're praying and your mind goes elsewhere and then you're like oh my gosh i'm so sorry god type of thing you know what i mean i feel like that happens to everyone i used to think it only happens like me or whatever but then it actually happens to everyone <laughs> you like a guy right you tell him he acts fresh about it and you slowly lose interest and feel rejected then comes i, I i'm going to assume the rest of it because this happens all the time you like a guy you tell him Shop. he's all like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you get over him now he's like oh my gosh baby can i have you back i'm gonna assume that's where the story was going this happens all the time guys <laughs> ah and i don't know why i don't know why guys can't like realize what they have while they have it this whole you don't know what you have since so gone <laughs> i don't you don't know what you had when, when you had me is that what you're saying is that it why didn't you know what you had until i left do you know that type of thing personally 
if you don't actually like him anymore then let it go like tell him to go away because then it's just a waste of both of your times honestly someone said if underwear plus bra is considered nudity in public why is a bikini appropriate i don't know but it's probably something to do with um the material things are made out of i don't know i've never i've never like asked myself that but then it's also just like i'd never walk out in my panty and my bra but then i'd walk around in a bikini and i actually don't know why i genuinely don't know it's actually something to think about um what is the whole point of nudes i honestly don't get it to be fair i think it's probably a different thing for everyone i don't know some people do it because they're confident in their body i guess um but like it's probably a different thing for everyone and it's okay not to un like to get it like it's okay not to it's okay not to tell what it's about do you know what i mean i don't know if that makes sense um why do all the guys go for young nation and keep them a secret guys this thing of all the guys for me personally now i just think it's weird um obviously not every guy who goes for younger girls is um a predator but as a younger girl my advice to you is you're not more mature than other girls your age you're not um you're not special okay okay maybe you are special i don't know but basically what i'm trying to say is always think why you know like always question things because genuinely guys men are strange sorry like you think oh my gosh i'm more mature that's why he wants me uh this 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 and that whole time he's just a predator you know he wants to coerce you into doing things i don't know but that is my advice to you just question things yeah uh you how do i ask this guy why he hasn't wiped me you ask you ask why am i not your girlfriend yet full stop you need to ask things with your chest the thing is if you're like scared to ask things i think guys can tell that's what i think but if you're like straightforward straightforward you want to ask something you ask it you want to say something you say it there's i think there's an energy that they get um where they kind of like not like respect you more but then they know that you're you're a, you're about business you know what i mean so ask him ask him why am i not your girlfriend yet you know um can you fall in love via text yes <laughs> you can you fully can um am i the only one who thinks the earth is square and not round i think you're the only one the earth is round um, he drunk dialed and said he loved me but i know he has a girl he chose over me what do i do don't give him the time of day don't give him the time of day he already chose someone over you don't give him the time of day he said he loves you tell him thank you keep it moving a friend is asking how to know when to let go of a guy sh that she likes she says that she wants to let him go but she still has feelings for him but she knows letting him go would be the right thing they're not dating or anything they just have an emotional pull to each other that stops them from falling for everyone else sometimes she feels he's the right one and other times she feels he's not he's not the one and they should just stop what should she do and this is such a cool idea i love your channel love you thank you thank you <laughs> um okay why do you want to why do you want to let him go that's the first question does he treat you like shit like why do you want to let him go i think that's the main thing you need to ask yourself um because if you if you know why you want to let him go then you'll know like what to do like if it's something bad like he treats you badly or he's busy with other girls even though he says mm -hmm, mm -hmm, i love you baby then obviously you need to like let him go but then also if you just feel like mm, maybe i should let him go then obviously something isn't right do you know what i mean um and you should definitely like think about that i obviously can't tell you what to do because i'm not in your situation but if the reason you're asking if you should let him go is like questionable then let him go what does it mean when a guy you like treats you like their girlfriend and shit and tells their friends that you're their girlfriend um but isn't making it clear for you you're not his girlfriend baby you're not his girlfriend full stop he may treat you like it he may say it but until he says will you be my girlfriend he is not your boyfriend you are not 
his okay maybe he's your boyfriend but you're you're not his girlfriend um basically what i'm saying is that wait for him to ask you the question or ask him why he hasn't asked the question because uncertainty um confusion give me zero like genuinely um if he's not making a clear ask him for clarity clarity needs to be clear to see do you understand what i'm saying ask him for clarity then you'll know like am i his girlfriend or not do you know what i mean because you could do something and hit you with you're not my girlfriend and then what do you do then what do you do do you know what i mean so yeah let's say you like someone how do you indirectly ask without losing them as a friend a big part of me definitely wants to say just tell them just tell them but I do understand where you're coming from in terms of like friendship and that. Um, I've ruined a friendship because uh -huh, feelings, feelings, you know. Uh, so I don't know. I feel like get someone to ask, get like one of your friends to ask, like where you and him stand or how he feels about you, maybe. That's like so form three, like grade eight, but you know, you'll you'll get your answer, do you know what I mean? Um someone said, Is it okay to live in with your boyfriend? How old are you? Okay, it's not even about age, I guess. I think okay, maybe you're 18 and you want to live with your boyfriend. Um it's I don't know, I just feel like sometimes live like if you live together it'll create problems for your relationship. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you're gonna see, oh my, he leaves his toothbrush there, but it's supposed to go there. And that pisses me off. He leaves his socks lying around, but this is this. Um, You don't put the water back into the fridge and it pisses him off. Do you know what I mean? Like unnecessary. I think you need to, need to know if you're compatible living in the same environment first. That's what I think. Um, Someone said I still have feelings for my ex. Let it go. Do your best, just please. They're an ex for a reason. They are an ex for a reason. Confirm we should normalize um, beating each other as girls when bitches cross the line. <laughs> um, first of all, what happened to you? Who did what to you? What's what's going on? What's going on? I don't know. I personally am capable of fighting, um, but it depends on the situation, obviously. But I am capable of fighting, so I don't judge fighting. Um, I've been cheated on before, and I kind of lost the will to love. How can I? How can someone love if I can't trust? Yo, you do need to work on. Actually, no. You know what? The right. I. I. I personally think the right person for you. You'll trust them like effortlessly. Like you won't have to force yourself or think about it. You. It'll just come to you that's what i think um and that'll be like your soulmate i believe in soulmates so that's my personal advice but then you should work on trusting again i mean these things happen like people aren't perfect people will do you wrong you will do people wrong so you should work on like regaining your trust again especially if you also can't trust in friendships that's the most important part i feel like when it comes to love the person that's meant for you, you'll just trust him. She needs to focus on one guy at a time because if he does it to her, it's a whole story. Okay, I think this is just you getting something off your chest about a friend. Okay. Well, uh, you should talk to your friend about this. Guys, I feel like when you bottle up um, negative feelings about your friends, it'll affect your friendship in the future. When you have a problem or you think your friend is wilding out, just talk to them and tell them you know if you can't have open communication like that in your friendship i don't think you're friends you know what i mean kind of want something serious but there's no one just vibes what does my friend do you wait for the right one but as my friend i know there is one now there's one and i'm happy for you i'm super super happy for you but anyway um yeah how to stop comparing yourself with others okay know that there is no one there is not another you Seven billion people and there is not another you so why like compare yourself to people if it has to do with like physical features or like oh my gosh why don't I look like her I think people do that all the time but it's a matter of not letting that make you insecure not letting that get to you um I don't know if that makes sense but then the main thing is knowing that there's only one of you there'll never be another you and you should appreciate yourself know that you're that bitch or that nigga do you know what I mean like period um but yeah just I mean you look at people sometimes on Instagram and it's like oh my days 
why don't I look like that? But I do that like sometimes, but then I'm like, there's only one me, no one can do it like me, and that's on period. Um, you need to be your biggest hype man as well. Just know, I just know that there is no one else like you. That's a really big thing. There'll never be another you, genuinely. Um, is girl code really important? I always think about that. I think it is. Um, but for me, when it comes to like, oh, my friend can't go for my ex, I personally don't mind. Like, dude, maybe that's your husband. Go for it. Um, but like, girl code has like lots of different things that have to do with it. But I feel like people, I feel like girls only focus on girl code when it has to do with boys, which is wrong. Girl code is girl code. That's just what I think. So I think it is important. Is it bad to wish to live like others? Like for example, I go on Instagram and I'm like, wow, this literally ties to the point I just said before this. You are you. Um, okay, in terms of like wanting to live like someone, wanting to live like them should push you to do everything you can to work hard so you can be there one day. Do you know what I mean? Um, you wanna be rich? That should motivate you. Like, oh my gosh, I need, I need to work. So that one day, one day it's you that someone is looking at. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's okay to suffer well. Like, it's okay. You can you can want to live like Kylie or whatever, but then that should motivate you to actually work and make Kylie money. Do you get what I'm saying? I wish I was like her or I wish I had nice clothes, etc, etc. I, I do that a lot. Okay, in terms of wishing you were like someone, there's only one of you guys. I can't stress that enough. I cannot stress that enough there's only one you embrace embrace yourself like embrace yourself like um i also i i used to want to be like and you know like i used to but then i came to a point where i was like but what if i just i do me to an extent where others are like oh my gosh joella do you know what i mean like it's you do you embrace yourself guys uh I'm probably not expressing this well enough, but there's only one you. There's, why would you want to be a second her? Do you know what I mean? When you are you. I don't know if I express that well enough, but yeah, you're special. Trust me, I don't. Even, I don't know who you are, but I know you're special because there's only one you. Next, my friend is friends with their ex, but she really wants him back. How can she win him back? Personally, I think he's an ex for a reason. But that being said, okay, what kind of breakup? Think about what kind of breakup your friend had. Um, also, if he cheated, then he's an ex for a reason and you don't want him back because you'll do it again. Um, if you cheated, it's up to him. If you guys just broke up for whatever reason, a reason that can be erased or something like that, then go for it. Just tell him, baby, I want you back. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Um, oh, okay. Sorry, it continues, guys. It says, and they broke up because she said something she didn't mean out of anger. It's up to him to forgive you. You need to, if you're sorry, you need to tell him you're sorry and that you want your relationship back because A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> sorry. Um, but like, yeah, genuinely, I think this is something that can be cleared up. So you should definitely talk to him or well, your friend should talk to him um okay that is the end of like all of the responses that i got thank you guys so much for interacting with me on my instagram if you don't follow me on instagram please do follow me so that you can answer these polls that i put up sometimes um yeah thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah.